Hey, what's up, guys? Happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you're having a good one. I decided to kick off the celebration with a six-mile run, <laughs> which might sound crazy and stupid, but I haven't been able to run in three months because of a knee injury, and for whatever reason, today I just knew it was the day. I had this feeling that my body had healed, and after getting done with it, I realized I was right because my knee didn't hurt. I'm back on the train, baby, and I'm feeling great about it, but I'm also in a lot of pain right now. <laughs> My whole upper body is sore. I keep forgetting that when you don't run for a while and you get back into it, it just beats the shit out of you. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. And quite frankly, I'm actually excited about it because I know this process well now. I know that when your body goes through something and comes out sore, that's a signal that you're going to be stronger at the end of it. And I think this is very similar to the mind as well. When you go through something that's negative, when you're in a dark place mentally, it's been my experience that years or months later, you will look back at that moment as a period of growth in your life. And despite knowing this and experiencing it, I'm not the best at accepting that. Right now I'm going through a breakup and obviously I'm down a lot of times, but I don't look at it in the same way that I do physical pain even though I know that the mechanism behind it is going to be similar. It's going to make me stronger, but nonetheless, I can't come to terms with it in the same way that I can come to terms with my body being sore. And that's something I'm really working on because I think when you look at any period of struggle in your life as a situation that could later serve you and make you into a better person, it tends to do that. And I really want to get there someday. I want to be able to look at a lot of the mental stuff that I deal with as not a setback, but an opportunity. Because that's been my experience all through life. That is what always happens. But for some reason, I just haven't come to the same level of trust that I do with physical pain. And that's interesting to me. I don't know why this is. I'm sure a lot of you guys are similar. You've probably experienced what I'm talking about as well that a lot of the darkest moments in your life actually shaped you into who you are and made you into someone that you appreciate more. I remember after my five-year relationship ended, that's what got me into working out, really. I started just beating the shit out of my body so that I could ignore the mental pain. And then at the end of it, when I eventually processed what had happened to me, I realized that as a result, I had picked up a good habit, something that I want to keep in my life something that benefits me. And for that reason, just like the body, I became stronger as a result of the struggle. That's all I gotta say today, guys. I hope you're having a good one. I hope this made some kind of sense to you. I'm a little bit uh, low on glucose, low on energy right now, so I'm hoping that I portrayed what I'm thinking well, but that's really it. See you guys on Monday. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Catch you later.